Hello everyone. So today we are going to have a gel printing session. Yes. Um, it's no, I know it's our fave and I wanted to do a session on, you know, like I was ready to do some gel printing and I know you guys would enjoy it. And I wanted to do some for the journal. Just, you had the idea to do some gel, some, um, photo transfers on remember this paper that we made before it was a coffee stain paper on the gel print and we we did some you know like a little bit of you know stamping on it stuff like that i thought this would be good to do the grunge on so that we would have that stained background so it's a little i need to try to adjust this light sorry about that I'll try to keep on sort of playing with this, but it's a little, the color's a little off. So anyhow, I thought we would use this and I already pulled some, I already pulled some images that I thought were sort of cool, sacred mother, you know, even just kind of going with this, the sacred feminine and things that really caught my eye. So I just pulled stuff. And we're just going to print them and then hopefully end up with some ones that I can use. Oh, I like this one. She's in her, um, you know, creatrix phase. <laughs> so I thought we'd do some of these and have them for our, our journal. And because I was going to do them, I said, you know, I think you guys would enjoy coming along. So... Let's make it happen, but I'm going to adjust this light. So be right back. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. So you need your gel plate, um, a brayer, and I'm going to use, the paint I'm going to use today is the Blick and the Ivory Black Studio Acrylic. This stuff is, you know, like there's, the, what really makes your, tran your, your images transfer it has a lot to do with having the right paint. So I did a, a pre-session that I did with my patrons where I just went through a lot of different paints that I had and to see which one I thought felt print the best today. And sometimes they'll change depending on humidity, temperature. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy how it can shift. I find that these Blick Studio Acrylics are pretty consistent. Um, like you have to find halfway in between, like your craft paints, not so much. And then your really high end paints, not always the best, but like in the middle, it seems like it's the right amount of binder and, um, and color. And also from formulation to formulation, it'll change. So like you could do this Blick Studio Acrylic in a different color and it may not transfer as well as another color, but you can definitely use the other colors, just kind of play with them. Like I was playing with the um, the bronze and it transferred nicely too. So sometimes we just really want a faint image. Sometimes I just want it to be faint and then I can print over top of it or write over top of it or do other collaging. I like to use the, um, the bronze. It's like we could even play with it. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do some of it on black paper um, too. So we'll put that up there. But in the meantime, let's get started. So paints are everything. Honestly, I know I notice when I see people showing um, how to do it, lots of great tips, but oftentimes I don't really see the emphasis being put on paint. <laughs> and honestly, paint has everything to do with it. So you want to get a nice amount, not like not too much, but you want more than the normal thin layers that I'm fond of with the printing. You want it to have a nice, good coverage, a nice sort of sticky surface. And as you're going, it should, you should really, I think that was a little um, glob there. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna grab one of these. Let me grab this one put it down and then I'm just going to get a waste sheet over top of it 
and you really want to just kind of smooth it out. Make good full contact. And then you lift it up, see what kind of transfer you got. So yeah, there she is. That's pretty good. So let me grab one of my pages here. Just grab this one. Get it down. Now some of the text is gonna come along with this, which is okay. Let's see how much we pick up. I, I, I put a decent amount down. I probably could have put a little bit more. You just have to play with it to see what, you know, you're going to get. Just make sure you get really good contact. I'm using 100% cotton. So I'm using a, um, a waste paper once to, I think I'm going to use a different paper because it's a little, um, Fragile's leaving bits behind. Okay, so not so much. You see how um, it's very faded and a lot stayed down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with and pick it up, but I'm going to use, I could use a clear, but I think I'm going to use a white. And it's just because it was so little on there. So there's two ways you can do photo transfer. You can do it like I did there, put it down and lift it right up. If you have a good amount on there, that's going to be fine. Um, but if you, if it starts drying like that one did, so let it dry. Just want to put another coat over top. And uh, you really want to see it thin out so I can see her reappearing there and then you can pick it up so and I'm not you know spending a lot of time with this because I kind of want what I call sort of a grunge <laughs> but um let me get this piece of paper I'll go with the white um I'll use this one again. Might as well. It may cover up because I've used the white, so it may not. Uh, but we'll see. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I use this to get the extra off. Now you can let this dry on the plate, come back to it 10, 15 minutes, um, fully dry and take it off. Uh, a lot of times it's ready to come off right now, which I got a so much better print. I love it. And it's even like a kind of got a ghost. You see that? You sort of see where her head is a little bit higher there. Um, oh, I love it. And we can still see some of our our staining, which is perfect. So I really like that. I think that's a great transfer and how wonderful will this be for our sacred mother journal? I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Oh, I love it. Okay, not bad first one. So let's do um, our next one, which is going to be, let's, um, let's, Let's do this one. Love it. Okay, so let's go again with the acrylic. Like I say, if I put enough down, you can actually just pull it without letting it dry, without doing a second layer.
feel like this is kind of drying sort of fast, but let's see. Let's put this down. Just kind of getting some of the air out of it. Okay, it's a little wet, I'm noticing, but let's just see. You can always do what I did before, which is come back and um, put a second layer over it. Yeah, so a little fun. The session, show you guys how I do it. And now this one smeared a bit. Okay, you see where it's a little smeared there. You know, sometimes what I do, I do everything. Let's take this and put this upside down. And sometimes you can just get a little extra off. But I'll still use it as a foundation. And it's not, the other thing about this particular print, just to be fair, is it's not the best high contrast. That's the other thing. You want to select prints that have a high contrast. I just like that one. But like, you, I have another one here. Um, oh, hold up a minute. So it's got, it had a lot of gray tones in it. So like this one might do a little bit better because it's a lot of, it's white to black, but it doesn't really like a lot of the gray tones. So, um, I have a little bit, I could tell when I lifted it up, it looked a little kind of spotty. Can you see that speckling going on there? It wasn't happy, but okay. That's okay. That's what we're doing. So because I want that one, to do better, what I'm going to do is just see what's going on on this plate. So what I like to do is let's go ahead and put a white down. Let's clean this plate. I'm going to probably use one of my, I like to clean it with the glassine and then I end up just using it as a background. So it's nice to clean them time to time so I just want to kind of get it all the way down get all these edges and uh, just try to get it a good clean pull off my plate so just clean your plate from time to time with a uh, you know, the fresh bit. And this is just meant to be a quick, fun set session. I find with photo transfers, it's something that you just have to be patient with. Spend time with it. Do them regularly. Learn your paints. Learn your papers. Learn the best prints. I've tried the fashion magazines like Bazaar, Vogue, those type of, um, and some of the home and garden, architectural digest, those type of um, magazines work really well. It's just the, the quality of the, um, the paper that they're printed on seem to do really well. So you want sort of a high contrast image with, um, um, high contrast, black, glossy, glossy pages too seem to work the best. Okay, good. So we got it. So we cleaned a lot of the 
you know, just a lot of the extra paint and stuff off. But look, it makes a nice kind of old wall type of thing that we can use. So we'll keep that. So let's go back to this black. I think I need to put a good amount down. Wow. <laughs> a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to let this, this one I'm going to pull and let it dry. I really want to get this one right. So we got a nice smooth coverage there. Not too thick, not too thin. Let's see if we can get her. Okay. Alright. Try to get some good coverage. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. little bit not so much this it doesn't like this grayscale as you can even see how much paint is sort of bubbling and i'm getting some right there but i'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna see what we're gonna get those were some dicey ones i kind of did those that i wasn't sure like these right here all of these i know will, will pull well because it's good contrast but those grayscale ones not so much so let's just kind of get it dry I'm gonna come back with the white let's see what we get it's not crazy about that paper either something about that paper as I can tell the way it's leaving that sort of um, kind of sort of puckering behind. That's normally an indicator that it's not that crazy about. Okay, let's go with some white. Okay. Oh, come on. Should have done that. Just clean that off. Don't want any paper on it. Okay. get coverage over the whole plate. And you can do stamping into this. There's so much you can do. I just want to pull this print. So I don't want to kind of mess around too much with it, but you can do lots of different things. So I'm gonna pull this, see what we get. Okay.
This cotton paper is a winner too, because it's nice and strong. So it can hold up to the moisture and what have you. So we should be okay with this paper. Yeah, see, you really don't see um, a lot of it because it was just too grayscale, but it's a really nice background print. So we're holding on to it. Yeah, it just wasn't happy. No problem. So let's go to, let's get some of these other ones. We know, I know I can get those. Okay. Let's do those. I feel like for some reason, let me just do this. Things are drying up a little bit. Let me put some water down here. Just to put a little bit of moisture because it's it's hot out here, so you got the moisture factor. So what I'm gonna do is let's grab one of these. Let me just see. Okay, so let's get some more. You can sort of see, you kind of want it to pull back clean everywhere except for where your, um, the image that you're retaining, it should hold the black, the ink, I mean the paint, because it's, it has the carbon in it. That's why you want the hard, high contrast, because the paint grabs onto the black, and the white, the white or the lighter area should come back um, pretty clean. So we got a little bit there with her face. I think I'm gonna let that dry also. And I think I'll try the bronze with that one. Why not? Give it a try. We're having fun. Be nice if this pops on well on top of that um, on the uh, what do I say in there on the um, <laughs> the stained papers is what I'm trying to say. I want to kind of get, well, I'm not crazy about the writing, so you can kind of kind of, so I'll make it a little more painterly so that I can get rid of some of that. Okay. You can do brush strokes. There's a lot that you can do. You don't have to stick with everything that's down there. If it's something down there, like I didn't want that word um, for air, which was, I guess, the hair products name or something. So I kind of smushed it around to get rid of that. I really just want the face. Okay, that's good. Oh, I like this. Wow, so we got that goddess face peering out. And that I really like the mark making around the sides there. So we're going to let this dry. That's good. We like her. She's good. And that bronze, see, it just popped. Okay. Let me just use this because it's a little still down there. So try to see if I can clean the rest of it off without putting more paint down. Let's 
So it got a nice grunge print there too. Let's do another one. So, let's see if I can get this one. Put the black down again. Okay. So you see I've got two good dollops there. Um, let me see, what do I have? I feel like I want to clean, clean this grayer off a bit. Getting some kind of build up. I ain't crazy about. In fact, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean this grayer. That's another tip too. I find that after I've used the brayer for a while, and it starts getting a, a paint buildup. It's kind of nice to clean it. It just kind of helps to get smoother coverage again and not so. Okay. Let's go ahead and put her down. Okay. Use this to get clean around the edges. Okay. So now I really want to make sure that let's just take a look. You can always peek and see what you have. Okay, this is pretty good, but I feel like some more can come off around these sides. If I can get a little bit more off the face. I am getting the body pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna put some white on that. So let's just let that dry. Fan a little bit. Could actually clean a little bit more up from around. So like if you have blobs around the sides that you don't want, like I can just kind of clean that off a little bit. A lot of times, I'll leave a lot too because I kind of like the extra um, blobs. But if you don't, I'm just showing you, you can, I'll leave those there, but you can wipe it off. I use just like a slightly damp paper towel or you can use a wet, a wet wipe, something. And then just get that off. This helps you to have a cleaner print. So yeah, so I just cleaned up a little. I left a little bit because I happen to like some of those grunge marks, but yeah, if you don't, if you want a totally nice clean print, then I'm gonna go with the white. I wanna get high contrast, okay? Okay. And then the trick is to get a nice even coat, but you should start to be able to see your image through the uh, transfer. Like you should start, it should start being thin enough that you can see it. Kind of peering back at you. I 
like I'm starting to see her now. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. Yeah, you can see it a bit. I put a lot down there because I kind of want to make sure that I got a good print. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So let's take one of these. Okay. That one has like a one of my stamps on it. So let's see where it falls. Could be interesting. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick photo transfer session. I hope there's a few extra tips in there. If you've tried this and you haven't had success, um, hopefully I've kind of shared some tips and tricks that I do to get transfers and the kind of things I look for. You know, I, I love grunge. I love things that look a little less imperfect. So I'm not the girl that's the happiest when it comes out looking just like the magazine page. I kind of like it to be tweaked a little bit. Um, that's me. So, oh wow, look at this. This is good. So I love the presence of her, of her body. So see this right here will be great to use in our book because, you know, it's not so photo in your face type of thing. You know, we can see her, we can see her presence. You know, we can see her, you know, her stance, her belly, her face, her, her head, you know, like the upward tilt of her head. And yet, to me, this is something I would put in my artwork because to me, it's like not so precise or something. I don't know. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. This will probably be next week's. <laughs> She'll be in there next week. But I'll let things dry a little bit. And I'll come back and show you them all. But yeah, I hope that there was a few tips and tricks in here. One thing, try all your different paints. Try every paint you have in your studio and then see which one. And do them on prints that you don't really care a lot about so you can see which one works the best. Clean your brayer in between. Make sure that, um, you know, like sometimes you have to alter it, things for temperature. In between, clean your plate. If there's something you get a build up. And like right now, it's time for me to clean it again. See, I've got all this extra stuff and I want to keep on printing with that. This is the one time doing photo transfer that I do clean my plate a lot because I don't want too much of the under layer affecting the print. So from that standpoint, clean the plate. And um, yeah, try your papers out. You, this cotton paper is really good. Using a good strong paper I find is good. It help it gives you enough to, enough tooth to pull the print um, and get the paint pulled off the plate, but it won't rip. Um, it's absorbent enough to 100% cotton. So yeah. Anyway, I'll come back when things are dry and we'll say goodbye. Okay, so let's flip through the prints. But one other pro tip here, <laughs> not that I'm necessarily. <laughs> A transfer pro. Um, there's a lot of people out there that just knock the ball out the park when it comes to photo transfers. But um, what I do do, and I want to share with you, is that because I like to work on a clean plate, and those who follow me know I don't keep clean plates, what I do is you can use the same plate for all your other printing as you do for photo transfer. Just use the back side of your plate. So one side of my plate, I just keep, con I clean. Like I just finished cleaning this. It's absolutely clean. So when I come back at the next time, I don't have to worry about paint being on it. But then when I want to use this side of the plate, all of my good, um, you know, grunge stuff is already there and I'm ready to go. So that's what I do. So don't think that you... Um, it, it does work better, I find, on a clean plate without a whole lot of stuff on it. Um, so don't feel like, oh my goodness, now you got to go get another plate. No, just use the back side. 
And with that one plate, you can have your, you know, for your, your print, if you, if you gel print like me and you like the extra grunge and all that stuff building up, that's great. And then just, uh, use the flip side for, um, yeah, your actual photo transfer stuff. So we like her. Oh, so compelling. Those eyes. She gets used in the journal. Oh, look at that. Mm. I mean, I could just even see it right now. I have to go get my journal, of course. Make sure I don't knock anything over while I'm grabbing stuff. But I mean, you know, she has a place in this book, right? Oh, gosh. I mean, she's going to be good. So, and then we have her. I oh, love it. And I love the painterly, you know, mark making. So remember to do that. It just adds sort of like an aqua tint. We used to call aqua tint to the way it looks, you know, just all of that. This is the one that didn't come out that great, but I'm still going to use it. You know, it might be a background piece and maybe, maybe I'm just capturing the knitting in the hands. I might, this is our, our mama happening here. Create tricks. Love this one. I right, just see this being used. This was the one that didn't do well, the, the older lady that was there, but I love it as a background print. So we'll do something with it. And this is one that I did during the patron session when I first started, I jumped on and they were hanging out with me just to um, work through the process. And you can do it on, um, you know, dictionary paper, old vintage paper, you know, so I just pulled this so you could see it because we didn't do it on that paper, but um, working on your vintage papers are really nice too. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this session and, uh, yeah, let's keep on working towards, um, you know, in the pages of our book. We love it. We love it. Um, and, uh, yeah. And okay. So until, cause I'll stand here and talk and flip and, you know, like you're standing here in the studio with me. Love you guys. You know, I, as always, I love hanging out with you. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new to the channel, please hit the bell, hit all for subscribing so you can get all the notifications and hang out with us. Um, please thumb up the video if you enjoyed it. And also comment, what was one of your favorite tips maybe that you didn't know that I shared today in this session? I like to get your feedback. And until next week, let's just keep on working in our um, Sacred Mother book project and um, looking forward to seeing what prints you all make as well. All right. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.